Tiene que prepararse, tiene que prepararse hoy. Uh, 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 uh. para gozar la vida ay así es así es goza la vida goza la vida hoy es el tiempo para gozar la vida hoy 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 Hello, my name is Carmelita Pittman, and I am a member of Pascual Betio's Sharing Friends of the Arts. And I'm bringing this show to you today on Carmelita's Corner, and uh, it is part of a project that has been produced through the Rose Breast Cancer Society, of which Senior Senator Pascual Betio. FRPS, which stands for Fellowship Royal Society, is a member. He has been a member and a supporter for many, many years. We've, doing, we've been doing projects together, and one of them is the mural, which is located right next to here at this location, which I am now naming as Pascual Art gallery and uh, what uh, has been done is we have made a transformation of what this space was originally to what it is now and of course Pascual is is very accustomed to huge spaces however we can show you what can be done in a limited space and uh, we have his strut wearable art here this is some of it these are all works of art by Senior Senator Pascual Betio. And as you can see, he takes repurposed or recycled items. He turns what he calls trash into treasures. That's what he's known for. We both uh, would like what is called assemblage art or collage, which means taking items that are not necessarily related, but putting them together in such a way that you have have um, birthed into the world a new creation. And through an artist's eyes, we can look at things and see beauty in what some people may consider not beautiful. But that is the, the beautiful nature of art, to be able to appreciate and enjoy and inspire through the creative force that comes through us, not from us, but through us. And you may wonder, why is she wearing that outfit? <laughs> well, I happen to love roses. My mother loved roses. 
Juanita Zara Espinosa Udin was her name. And those of you who are aware of the Rose Breast Cancer Society are very much aware of the journey that I've taken with my mother. Hello, Sherlinda. Hi, Mrs. Pittman. How are you? I'm doing fine Good. now that you're here. Right? <laughs> What's going on here? Well, welcome to Pascual Art Gallery. Thank you. This is awesome. I totally didn't expect that this was going to turn out so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> what pieces are we uh, displaying today? Well, we've got uh, some samples of his artistry. We're looking at strut wearable art, and we're looking at his collage paintings. Uh, he has a series, you know, the one that's up in the corner up there, the white and the black, black and white. Yes. He had a series of those. Those are all made out of leather. And he has had a series of different styles, but it's basically what he calls artography, where he takes photographs and he, what I call pasqualizes them. Pasqualizes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. We have an example of, of one of those over here. If if you'll follow me, we'll show you. You see this this photograph here? Oh wow. You see how it, it is no longer a regular photograph. <laughs> yeah, this is also a really nice piece here. Um, like you said, any regular art that he has touched has become his own unique style. And I think it's beautiful. I love the pieces and how creative he gets with it. So oh, yeah. thank you for showing me this beautiful shrine. <laughs> Well, it's some samples. Uh, it's a sample it's just of his samples. legacy. Be Absolutely. Because, because he has created so much. Look at that. It's just really unique. Yeah, and uh, at one time, he had the entire second floor of what used to be a bank building on the corner of Highland and Hollywood okay. Boulevard. Okay. And also, he had the entire basement. Nice. And um, as a a member of Sharing Friends of the Arts, I produced a documentary about that. And he's had many, many unique guests, including our Honorable Diane Watson, who came, and, and uh, I'm, I'm expecting her to also make a special visit here. She has been here on, on the location before when she visited him, you know, okay. at his premises. Okay. Yeah, but now uh, this piece here is so, so unique. I, I love it because it's, it's sort of like a place for people who, who want to have hidden treasures. They can put a ring or something oh, in there. Right. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, isn't that cute? I like that. Yeah, but, uh, I, I but see, it's, it's got everything on it. It's got seashells, broken mirrors. Yeah, g goodness knows what you'll find on there, but... But Pasquale has his unique way of blending everything. And we're both from that school of art expressionism as a, as a visual artist, you know, uh, enjoy art expressionism. And I'm a former LA Unified art educator. So many of my students have been exposed to all different styles of art, impressionism, the Renaissance masters, and from a different uh, backgrounds, you know, different countries or what have you, different cultures. Absolutely. And so this There's art in everything. Yes, and this is this this is what makes our world unique and right. beautiful. And beautiful. And right. and um I mentioned earlier one of the reasons why I'm wearing this attire. And you look really pretty my day. Uh oh thank you. <laughs> well the reason why is because we're in the month of November. Yes. Which is when uh the the Latin culture celebrates the Day of the Dead, mm. where yes, where the right ancestors right. are 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 worshipped in a sense, because they build altars, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful, unique altars, okay. and they take things that the person that they, their loved ones had left behind and made them in, make them into like a shrine, right. and they're absolutely gorgeous, and um, I, I I happen to enjoy you know, that special holiday. My maternal heritage is from Mexico. So, oh, right. so I, I, as you already know, I honor all of, of my heritage, Absolutely. including that. Exactly. And uh, people sometimes say, why is your name Carmelita? Well, that's why. 
That's why me llamo Carmelita. My name is Carmelita. It's Carmelita. Yes, yes. So at, at first, you know, I didn't used to like that name because I said, why didn't Mama give me a regular name? How come I couldn't have been Susie or, or Carol or something? Yeah, right. But now I realize how special, how special it, is. it is. And where it comes from. And why. Right. So yeah, they appreciate it that much more. They say, "Don't forget about us." Right? My that part of the I'm part of the family. Right. So here I am That's representing. Awesome. But we we also, you know, you and I, we also recognize our heritage from Africa for sure. And uh, I think that it's a beautiful culture. I was just at a, a place called Rainbow Market hmm. near the marina, okay. and they have a whole section of these beautiful hand baskets that are made from uh, the residents in Ghana. They're just absolutely fabulous. And when you buy one of those, the money goes towards helping the families. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I just want to say that Pasquale's art is beautiful. It's very unique. This piece specifically has captured my eye. I love the color contrast and just it has a feel of the 80s and including a different texture of the broken glass. All of these pieces are amazing. The leather that he's incorporated into it with the colors. I think Pasquale is a really amazing artist and I appreciate seeing things in a different light of art. So thank you for having me. This was awesome. Thank you. Well, what a pleasant surprise that Sherlinda stopped by and that she was the first person to be able to visit Pasquale Art Gallery, which is located in the Mid-City, Mid-Wilshire District. We have, as you can see, a sample of Pasquale's artwork here. There is much more to enjoy and partake of. He has been a, a force in Hollywood for many, many years, a creative force, a member of the Hollywood Arts Council as one of its trustees for many, many years. And uh, I just want to acknowledge our art family community, uh, the Sharing Friends of the Arts, LAVA, Los Angeles Visual Artist. I want to acknowledge the Hollywood Arts Council, of course, and all of our friends who are part of it. Uh, Esperanza, Luna had the vision of bringing the artists together in Los Angeles. You have the opportunity to see these wonderful works of Pasquale's art. And all you need to do is to write to the Rose Breast Cancer Society, of which he is a member, an email sent to the, T-H-E, Rose, R-O-S-E, B as in boy, C as in cat, S as in Sam, at sbcglobal.net. Once again, you can contact me, uh, Carmelita Pittman, and you can set up a meeting so that you can visit these wonderful works of art. Mm -hmm.